though. I wanted to have just like a little bedtime chitty chat with you. And tonight what I want to talk about is having a goal. Setting goals, <clears throat> I think it's really a key thing for as we, you know, work through this weight loss process. And I don't just mean like, okay, my dream goal is to be 150 pounds. No, you got to set other goals along the way. Um, so, okay, well, I am going to really try to reach my goal of 130 uh, grams of protein every day this week. I'm going to really try and shoot it. Or <clears throat> I'm going to really tr make, I'm going to really try to stay under 20 net carbs this week and, and focus on that goal. Or I'm going to try to stay under 20 total carbs this week and try to stay under that goal. I feel like you know, I, I was listening to, um, at our convention a few months ago, I took some notes and one of the things they said is that goal provides order for knowing what we are working towards. So <clears throat> like right now I'm in maintenance and there's really no goal. And so there really is not a lot of order and there isn't like something for me to work towards. It's just me maintaining. So <clears throat> it kind of, it feels a little willy nilly. And I'm sure those of you who watch who saw me as during my weight loss phase, it, it's willy nilly for you too. Um, so it seems like um, when you have a goal, you know, okay, well, I'm going to stay under this many calories. I'm going to stay under this many, whatever it is you're counting. Um, or, or, or I'm going to eat this much amount of meat or whatever. Um, it seems like when we have a goal that we're focused on, it really, it really helps create something for us to work towards, you know? So by the end of the week, you're like, all right, yeah, I hit my goal of protein every single day, ka-chow. Or, um, you know, I mean, like I said, I know the dream for the scale, but if you're a female or male, I'm sure y'all got hormone problems. But if you're, you know, if you're human, you got the hormones that go do, 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 do. And so sometimes beyond your, anything you do, you eat on plan perfectly, but the scale don't move. So sometimes you can't depend on that scale to be your boost of confidence at the end of the week. So, um, so yeah, he was talking about that. A goal provides order to know what we are working towards. And I just wanted to share that with you. The other thing I wanted to share with you is something else that, um, it was something Aikens, what was his name? It wasn't Troy Aikens, I wanna say that, but it wasn't, it was, I wonder if I wrote his name on here somewhere. Of course not. Anyway, <clears throat> he was a football player, something Aikens. Anyway, and, um, he said that you should never do something so you can do something else. So, okay, prime example. Terry decides, I'm going to lose some weight and I'm going to give up carbs so that by the, when I reach my goal, I can go back and eat those carbs. So, <clears throat> don't give up something so you can do something else. Don't lose weight just so you can go back to eating those bad foods. Does that make sense? So, you know, in order, it kind of goes back to having the goal of eating low carb foods. And then, um, and hang on, I'm trying to keep everything organized back here on my little, the little, my little note cards. Oh, this could be over here. Yeah, you can't see that. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> so never do something so you can do something else. So, um, like I said, we don't want to uh, give up all our carbs and lose weight so that we can eventually go back and eat the carbs. When I first started this weight I, weight loss, I'm like, I'm just going to give up carbs. And then when I get to my goal, I'll be able to go back to eating how I want to eat. Mm -mm, that's not part of the, that's not part of the thing. Um, <clears throat> you, that's just not how it works. So when you are working towards your goal, you're also working on learning what's going to help you through maintenance. You know, people always talk about, enjoy the journey. It's the journey, not the destination. I always thought that was the dumbest thing. Just the dumbest statement. Enjoy the journey. I'm like, that sounds so dorky. Well, anyway, well, here I am to tell you. 
I ain't saying I enjoyed the journey. <clears throat> I ain't saying I enjoyed giving up all the things that I used to like. I'm not saying I've enjoyed going through the detox and, and all that stuff. But <clears throat> through my journey and through every day of learning what I can and can't eat and what helps my body feel good and not feel and and what makes my body feel good and not good through that journey i have then worked out how maintenance should look so i'm not going to say you have to enjoy the journey although you know i like to eat there has not been a meal that i have not enjoyed so that aspect of the journey i've enjoyed the eating aspect of the journey but <clears throat> i haven't like you know, I, I, it hasn't been something where I'm like, oh, this is such a wonderful journey. I don't want to reach the goal. No, that's a hockey. -hoo. That's a lot of hockey do. That's for sure. But anyway, but what I am saying is that take the time as you're losing weight. Get to know what your body needs so that way you can reach your maintenance. So, so um, you know, if you make your goal to be um, we're just going to say 1,800 calories and say you get on in some calendar or some calculator tells you you need 1,800 calories. All right. All right. Cool. But then all of a sudden you hit a stall and you're like, well, this calculator ain't right. Well, then that's when you have to recalibrate your brain and say, all right, I'll try 1,700 calories for a while or I'll try 1,600 calories for a while. That's the part of the journey that for some reason it has clicked for me. I think because things like Weight Watchers and the um, and uh, like people just saying, "Oh, eat carnivore, just eat all the meat you want," or or just stay below twenty carbs and you'll be fine. I think those don't that did not help my brain figure out what I needed to do for me. Whereas, <clears throat> like a lot of you will say, "Well, how many car calories do I eat?" I don't know. I don't know how many calories you need. You know, you just got to pick a number and then work your way down. And, you know, if then then things stall, all right, we'll cut out some meat, cut out some fruit, cut out some whatever you need to, to, to for it to go back to start moving again. So that's where the old saying, the rubber hits the road. That's where things happen is when you start figuring out what your body needs. If you need to lower your calories for the weight to start falling, then there you go. If you need to start lowering your fat, then maybe that's what you need to do. If you need to start lowering your carbs or whatever you need to start lowering, but <clears throat> that's what I mean. That is, that's the part during your journey that you really have to figure out for yourself. I can't figure it out for you. I used to want somebody just to give me an eating plan. Just tell me what to eat for heaven's sake. Just tell me what to eat. And I could have paid for somebody to do that. I ain't, I'm too cheap for that. But I could have paid for somebody to do that. But I wouldn't have learned. I wouldn't have learned about my body and what my body needs. So that's where, you know, <clears throat> having the goal and working towards that goal helps provide order for your brain and helps you figure out what you're going to need in order to reach, in order to be in maintenance and to handle your maintenance better. So I just want to come and share that with you today. So that two things. One, we need a goal in order to create order. And so that way we know what we're working towards. And two, don't do something now so you can do something else later. And I don't mean like in my case, I followed carn keto, then carnivore, then keto, but it wasn't so I didn't do one just so I could do the other later. I did start thinking I'm going to do this and then I can eat all the bad things later, but that didn't how it worked out. So I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, bye.